2020. Yes. Hey guys, I'm Mitch from Team Epic Reads. Hey, I'm Lisa from Team Epic Reads. And welcome, and welcome to back our, to our last episode life? of Is This, is this Real, Real Life? life? <laughs> I can't take you seriously. Right <laughs> I know, I truly, I can't see you through these. Um, maybe so. we can, okay. I might have well, to take, yeah. So this is our last episode of the year. We just wanted to thank you guys so much for tuning in yeah. to our other ones. It's been a wild ride. Yeah, it feels like an end and also a beginning. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, we're going back to the 20s, the roaring the 20s. Roaring 20s. <laughs> Before we get into this episode, I don't know if you noticed, we have a little bit of holiday we do. cheer. Wait, should I stand? Yes, yeah, stand. And I can show this one off. I'm, I don't know why I'm not wearing it, because it's <laughs> so cute. It's so cute. It says, my holiday is booked and relatable. Um, <laughs> I love it. And they're <laughs> available on, Online. on our site. Yeah, you should can we... look in the link <laughs> Let's down put below. Let's a little link, yeah. Um, yeah, and also going off of this book, I just wanted to briefly mention um, some of my holiday favorite books um, Love over the a good last holiday couple book. of years. Yeah, mm -hmm. so um, I know that this one isn't really contemporary, but uh, The Afterlife of Holly Chase Ooh. is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, one Day in December, too. I know that's also, it's not YA, but it's like, it's like adult light. Um, oh, it's adult just like, light? I've never heard of that. I, know, I, I don't like know. That. Did I just That's make that funny. up? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't think so. But um, yeah, it just feels like, like these two books are like the ones that you want to like cozy up with like a nice like, cup of cocoa Ugh. and just. Yeah, I don't know that many holiday books. Um, I didn't read Let It Snow, but I watched the movie mm. and it's so cute and I loved it. So highly recommend that. Yeah. And probably reading the book. Like I'll probably read it before the year's over, you know. To make it like your last goal of of this yeah. decade. Yeah. Uh, oh God. I... Oh my God. Speaking <laughs> of, did you like make any book goals this year? Or this book decade. Book goals. Oh, you know, I don't. Read? I did not. But I feel like I know people do that on Goodreads. I yeah. kind of just I record all my books. I just don't have a yearly goal. Okay. What about you? I. This is the first year that I've actually reached my goal already. <gasps> <Yay>! So it's <laughs> crazy. Everyone clap for me. Oh my God. <laughs> I remember last year I was like on. Um, on December 31st, I was like <laughs> frantically like reading and I like didn't make it. I had like a hundred pages left oh and I was gosh. like one book shy. Oh but man, I that know. sounds like homework that you gave yourself. It, yeah, you know? yeah. But, but I don't you know. You did it this year, so that's what counts. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like this is the time of year between, you know, November and December where everything seems super busy. Like no matter what stage of life I'm in, like mm -hmm. I'm a student or I'm in college or later than that, like it just feels busy. But now we can just lay back for a little bit and relax yeah. and think about, you know, some of our favorite books of the year and decade. We had a video earlier yeah. this year that was the most buzziest books of 2019. If you want to click around. Somewhere <laughs> over here. Um, but I wanted to talk a few, about a few books that really stood out to me in 2019. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah. let's get into it. Um, one of my favorite books of the, I was going to say decade, I guess decade, but also of the year is When You Ask Me Where I'm Going by Jasmine Cower. And um, this book is just, it's about so many things. It's about feminism and like dealing with Me Too and sexual assault, um, immigration, ugh, so many things. And, and it's written in verse. Well, actually, Ooh. it's written in prose, prose, verse, and illustration. Oh, wow. So there's like three different types of genres and writing going that. on, which I love, yeah. I love when authors kind of experiment with voice and like different formats. Mm -hmm. And so this is literally all of those things. Um, let's see if I can just show you a couple. That is <laughs> Yeah, very, there's yeah. some really cool just design. The overall book is very designed and beautiful. And I love the cover. It's very like sparse, but fierce, you know, yeah. meaningful. And this story is like about so many things. Um, if you're looking for, you know, a book that will make you feel a lot of things. Definitely <laughs> this book. And why read if you don't want to feel things? So exactly. Just I can't I can't stress that enough. And she also has a lot of her poems on Instagram. If you want to start looking at her poetry there, and then head over and get the book for the holiday, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, so I know that a lot of people are traveling for the holidays. True. Um, so one of my favorite books from 2019 is Love from A to Z. I love that um, book. So it takes place in an airport, and I know a lot of people are going to be in airports this season for the holidays. Um, for better or worse. <laughs> yeah, so maybe you can take a, take a note from this book. Maybe you'll find a crush at the airport. True. Um, this is, it's just like... 
a romantic comedy, but it's not a comedy. I wouldn't say a comedy, but it's it's a very romantic book that deals with some issues and oh, it's just so cute. So whether you're at an airport, on a train, on a bus, mm -hmm. the subway, or just in your room, I feel like this is a great one to read over the holidays. So and maybe you'll make eye contact with someone who's also reading the same exact book, and then mm -hmm. you'll fall in love with that person. Yeah, you maybe know, maybe both of you took advice <laughs> from this video and yeah. you both ran out and bought this and now you're reading it at an airport together. I don't know. I love that. Yeah. I hope that we just made someone's love story. <laughs> Let us know if we did. <laughs> I would yeah. love we'll have you on the we'll We will you sponsor you to come here on this video if that is your love story. <laughs> oh my god, that would be amazing. <laughs> Um, and then another book that came out this year that was absolutely amazing, as I knew it was going to be, was is Shout by Laurie Hals Anderson. I will read anything that Laurie Hals Anderson writes. The same. Um, this book is kind of the companion follow-up to Speak, which just had its 20 or 25th anniversary, 25th year anniversary. So um, this one is also written in verse. In case you can't tell, oh I God. enjoy that. I um, do too. It's like my favorite. And it's a nonfiction memoir told in verse and goes into not only sexual assault and surviving that and, you know, life afterward, being your own person afterward. It also goes into her life, and I didn't know that Lori spent a significant portion of her life in Denmark, and that really shaped her as a person. It was really interesting to read. Um, and it's just, of course, so well written. And then it's also a call to action for, you know, the Me Too movement, for Basically, anyone who is living right now and trying to find themselves, like, Lori is just an amazing aunt. I think she has this one line that's like, your Aunt Lori wants you to follow your nightmares, uh, which I love. It's so cool. Yeah. Um, so thank you, Lori, for writing this. And this is just such a standout. Um, it deserves to be on all those lists. Oh, my God, I love it. Um, another book that I don't have with me right now that I've read this year that I absolutely love um, is like a love story by oh, Abdi Nazanian. Yeah. Um, oh my god, it's just it's it's also a little bit holiday y. There's like um, some protests that the characters in the book do around Christmas time. Um, and it just it feels very very Christmassy. It's like also very like Madonna heavy. There's Ooh, a lot of like pop that. culture <laughs> references, which like I'm all about. Um, yes, he is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, love it. But I definitely, it's definitely one of my favorites from 2019, if not from the decade. So definitely That's check it out if you haven't. And we should also just talk about a few of our favorite books from the decade, yeah, which is a, a big task because mm -hmm. there's so many amazing books all the time. But we have a couple to just throw out there. Yeah. So The Hate You Give, which has spent how many oh weeks God. now? Like it's an insane. unimaginable amount of time on the number one on the New York Times bestseller. Mm -hmm. Well, well deserved. Oh, for sure. And I can't and believe Angie this was, she's amazing. amazing. This was her debut, right? Yeah. Like, that is just so amazing. Um, the writing, the characterization, and I, I don't think this needs introduction. Like, everyone should buy this book, especially the collector's edition, which is gold. Mm -hmm. So it's that so will catch pretty. the eye of everyone when you're reading it in public, you know. But this book is so important and just so good. Uh, I can't believe it was out last year, I believe. I right? know. I'm going to count it. So I was late to the train. Oh, yeah. It's, we talked about that yeah. in our first episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah. So I'm counting it for my books in 2019. And this is definitely one of my favorites. Yes. Even though it didn't come out this year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, no, definitely. it deserves to be counted for sure. Definitely one of my favorite books of the decade, too. So Talking about other debut authors yeah. who wrote amazing books. Oh my god, and this is also in verse. Yes, yes yeah. it is. I love it. I, this is like, I feel like I started reading more verse books after I read Elizabeth Acevedo's mm -hmm. The Poet X. Um, just I because, like me too. I don't know, like I knew that they existed, but reading this, and it was so masterfully done and mm -hmm. written, because she herself is a spoken word poet, uh, the author, it just definitely like awakened me to the genre again, and, and now I'm reading a lot more verse books, so thanks, Liz. Yeah, and if you guys have any books in verse that you could recommend, please let us know. Please. I feel like this, I think that this one was the first one that I read, and it's like, they're such fast reads, but then you can go back and you can like digest just like the artistry and like how right? beautiful the like words just string together. It's like... It's perfect because it's short enough that mm -hmm. you can read it in not too long of a time period, but then the words mean so much 
more almost even, yeah. you know, because there's so few of them. Ugh. It's like it's like picture books. People think they're simple, but they're like complicated. Like some how hidden to meaning, read it. yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, this in this decade, I feel like this book definitely like reignited me to like contemporary YA. Mm. And it's Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda. So I feel like good. this is the book that I would recommend to everyone. Like when I first started at Epic Reads, I was like, oh my God, you have to read this book. It's mm-hmm. amazing. It's mm-hmm. incredible. <laughs> um, and the, uh, I don't even know. That was like 2016 maybe. Um, and it's still like the book that I recommend to everyone. It's so. It's like perfect contemporary, you know? It just has all of the like classic things I want and then mm-hmm. throws in new things that... Yeah are just amazing. It has, like, those twists and turns where you think you, like... It's, like, kind of, like, a thriller in Mm -hmm. that way, which I, like, love. But it's, like, who is, you know, this crush (laughs) that he's talking to? And it's, like, you think you know, and then... And it has the anonymous, like, like, letter writing. I mean, who doesn't love an anonymous letter writing? Oh, I like... Like, you were saying about um, the... um, When you asked me where I'm going, like, how it's in, like, different formats. I, like, Mm -hmm. love when it's, like, through, like, emails. Or, like... Tumblr post or, like, <laughs> text message. I just think it's, like, such, like, a clever way. It's so way. creative. Yeah. I love it. I love that book, too. Um, and then some other favorites that we don't have time to talk about, but you can check them out here somewhere. Um, you know, Sarah Dessen came out with more books. Mm-hmm. Of course, she did, and they're all amazing. Uh, most recently, The Rest of the Story. Mm-hmm. Um, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the oh, Universe God, by so Benjamin Elyria Science, mm-hmm. which... I thought that, I don't, maybe like 2012 or around that time, so a little earlier in the decade, but, oh man, that book is like so amazing. Um, The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danforth. Love that book. We Mm -hmm. talked about that in a recent uh, episode in the past of Is This Real Life? And, you know, there's just so many good books. There's so many good books out there. So little time. That's why our holidays are going to be booked. Oh, yeah, we've got, for sure. Oh, I'm, like, God. not doing anything else. I, like, gonna cannot read books. wait to wear this. Right? It's so cute. I love it. Um, yeah, and then I guess just, like, putting a close on 2019, I guess, there's, like, a, a lot of books that there. are that we're very excited about for 2020. But so many. This was, 2019 was such a good year in it books, was. and I think 2020 might be better. Can yeah. I say that? It's, yes. <laughs> I no, know. it's always looking forward. It's always going to be better. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. There's this book coming out. I have to tell you guys about it. It's called The Black Flamingo, and I am so excited about this. This is also told in verse. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, wait. I have to read that, like, yeah, right now. <laughs> you do, for sure. Um, so it's about this this guy, Michael, who lives in London, who is um, Greek. He's mixed Greek and Jamaican, and he's trying to, like, find his identity. He doesn't feel like he fits in either category. Um, He's also gay, and he's just, like, trying to find his identity. He can't find it until he decides to start doing drag. Yes. Um, So it's, so the author is Dean Atta, who's a UK-based slam poet, so, you know, this is gonna be good. Yeah. Um, And, like, I mean, it's just like RuPaul's Drag Race, like in book form. Look at it's that! Like, That's so gorgeous. I know. I love I know. it. I love that the premise cover sounds so amazing. Much. Um, but yeah, please check this out. This one comes out in May, and it is incredible. <laughs> I actually can I I'm gonna yeah. take it. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. take it. I really oh need God. to read this, and it's in verse. I'm so excited. Yeah. Um, another book that's coming out in 2020 that I cannot wait for. And spoiler, I already read it, but called Love Boat Taipei oh by Abigail Hing Wen. This is a debut. Um, I think Black Flamingo is also a debut, right? Mm-hmm. So is. I feel like this is like debut and verse episode. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so Love Boat. <laughs> Should we rename the title? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so Love Boat is not in verse, but oh man, so much happens in this book. Like I haven't read a book that has so many things happening, like such a plot that doesn't make me bored. Like sometimes things are thrown in in other books that I just... Like, you can tell it's only for the plot, but I don't actually care. Whereas this one, I cared about everything oh, that yeah. was happening. Everything, like, served a purpose. It all kind of came together in the end. And this story is just really about a girl who doesn't know who she is, really. Like, she's always been doing what her parents have wanted for her until suddenly she has this one summer where she does... It's like a summer of firsts in every way, in every, like, possible thing you can imagine. Um, 
which I love, you know, just yeah. discovering yourself. And, and she makes a lot of mistakes, some that are really bad, but then she <laughs> learns from them. And Which, like, uh, who doesn't love that? Right? And there's just there's the self-discovery here, the character arc. I haven't seen a character arc where I felt it was realistic, you know, mm -hmm. like this in so long. And I just can't stop loving this book. And also, oh like, God. Love Boat Taipei. It's a diverse rom com. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's just got so many things, guys. You just have to read it. And then we can talk about it because yes. I, I read it. And I'm going to need to talk about it with someone. Oh my Please. God. I, I heard at one of the festivals that Africa Greets was at, we did like a bubble tea. Yes, giveaway. I wish I was there. Oh my God. So just curl up with like <laughs> some nice bubble tea and read this book because it is. It is an amazing debut, it's a, and it's just like amazing in itself. So. It's a love boat. It's a love boat. <laughs> um, you another get swept one. Away on the love boat. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like these also these covers are gorgeous. Right? Like here's another oh, one. Oh, I love it. So this is Felix Ever After. I love that Case cover. and Calendar. Yes. So it's about Felix, who is like marginalized or feels marginalized and feels like they are too marginalized to like ever have like a like a happy ever after, Aww. which is so sad. Um, so Felix, it's not true. I know it's not. Um, so Felix is like black, queer, trans, um, and they just feel like they'll never get that love story. And this is—it's just so cute. It's a rom com. Um, so Case and Calendar is also the author of. Um, it's kind of an epic love story, I which love is that book. same. <laughs> I mean, it didn't come out in 2019, but it definitely is one of my favorite mm -hmm. of you know the past couple of years um and this one is going to be right up there too and this cover anything with and, a flower crown i feel yes, like i'm so cheesy that, that way but like <laughs> but who I doesn't love, it. love a good love flower it. crown Ugh. and also just like i didn't even i mean i realized what the title was but i didn't realize it's like happily ever after it yeah. took me a little bit but i love it yeah. i love that <laughs> um another 2020 book we're just plugging liz again because mm. love her uh, so she's writing another book going back to verse Yay! <laughs> um, and that's called Clap When You Land. I cannot wait for that book to come out. So it's about these two girls who are living different lives and suddenly something happens that shows us, the reader, and also them eventually that they're actually connected. Um, and so it's like leading up to why are they connected? And uh, I love oh, when it's, it's two different perspectives and... It's explosive. It's I explosive. Feel like it's <laughs> I don't want to give too much away I know, because... I know. But it's it's an identity story. It's, you know, finding out who you are, but also when there's this whole other side of you you didn't even know was a part of you, is suddenly a part of you. Um, so all the things, all the questions, and, you know, of course it's going to be amazing because it's Elizabeth Azevedo writing another book in verse, which is amazing. I love it. Um, I, one of my other books that I'm really excited about for 2020 is uh, Stay Gold by Tobley McSmith. So this is also a debut. And I feel like all of mine, so this is also, this, so this is a trans story set in Texas. And it's also like a finding out who you are. So I feel like, I feel like 2020 is all about self-discovery. Oh, so a good maybe, self -discovery. maybe make that a resolution. I don't know. Yeah. Um, oh, man, resolutions. But yeah, this is, this one's great, too. It just, like, gives you those, like, warm and fuzzy feelings. Oh. And it's just, like. Everyone needs more of those yeah, right now. Yeah, some, like, so. hard eye emojis <laughs> and just about finding love. And, like, who doesn't want love? And who doesn't want to, like, love themselves? And I just, uh Most yeah, check this love. one out. Oh. Well. There's so many good books, guys. I There's know. so many good books in the world and so many that are coming out. And we just wanted to say thank you again so much for yes. sticking with us. This is our first ever video series. I know. Didn't I, really know how it was going to go. <laughs> we had no but, idea. So we appreciate but here we, are. we appreciate all the kind words and the yeah. support and all the likes and clicks and We read whatever. every one of your comments we and we like really appreciate them and Love you guys. I know. Oh, my God. This is, like, emotional. <laughs> We're, like, oh, last video of 2019. I yeah. feel like bright things in 2020. And we can't wait to see you guys there. See you there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>